We are losing our community's greatest resource. Black women are dying in plain sight. And not only is no one talking about it, but we refuse to acknowledge that the source of this crisis is rooted in the same injustice that first propelled the civil rights movement. The United States incarcerates more people per capita than almost any nation on the planet. But what you may not know is that on any given night in America, almost half a million people go to sleep in those concrete jail cells who have not been convicted of anything. They cannot afford to pay the price of their freedom. And that price is called bail. So when a police chief or a pastor or an imam or a mother, when they call me after an officer shoots another unarmed black child, I understand a bit of the pain in their voice. It's the pain of a heart breaking when it fails to solve a deadly problem. Most interventions focus on one piece of a complicated giant puzzle, but that's not enough to, to solve the puzzle. You don't solve education without understanding the home context or the home environment of a young scholar or the broader context of health, nutrition, or criminal justice. A thousand organizers is not enough. Girl Trek is going to create the next citizenship school. And in doing so, we will train 10,000 frontline health activists and deploy them into the highest need communities in America. Because when we do, we will disrupt disease. We will create a new culture of health. And what we will do is create a support system for one million black women to walk to save their own lives. We're going to bail out as many people as we can as quickly as we can. Over the next five years, partnering with public defenders and local community organizations, we're going to set up 40 sites and bail out 160,000 people. Our audacious idea is to deliver a Comstat for Justice to departments serving 100 million people across the United States in the next five years. We have developed a comprehensive COVID-19 relief and recovery response for our community that was surfaced from our community, focused on protecting our most vulnerable.